Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be using the Peachy Olive Glitters collab box that was done with Mal by Made by Manny and Mal. I'm gonna show you guys the palette reveal first and then we'll get into the design. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this comes with four 12 by 12 sheets of vinyl, three white backed decals, and then four full size two ounce glitters. Here are all of the beautiful glitters. Barbie was custom mixed by Mallory. And then this is the glitter under epoxy. And I'm obsessed. <laughs> all right, so we are going to start with a 32 ounce plump from Tipsy Magnolia. I will have all of my discount codes for you guys linked below in the description box. We're gonna take this vinyl from the palette and I'm going to measure and make sure that I have vinyl touching both the top and the bottom edges and then once i've determined where i need my cut point to be for the top and the bottom i'm going to take the scissors and cut them along the waves um, and we're going to do that on both sides and then we'll use the hinge method to apply the vinyl I will tell you guys, if you are using this cup cradle that I'm using, I don't want to name names because I'm not trying to bash anybody, um, you'll see here that I scratched my vinyl when I pressed it on, so be very cautious of that. That's the first time that's happened. I've been using this cup cradle for a long time and it just happened. So I don't know if it was something I scratched or I did or what the deal was, but don't roll it onto the vinyl <laughs> like I did or don't roll the vinyl onto the cup like I did. Um, so we're gonna use the hinge method to apply this vinyl. This is a prepped cup, so I didn't do any prepping on this. I just went right in with my work. Um, and then once we've got that applied, we'll move into the glittering. And here's where I realized that I scratched the vinyl. <laughs> so this wasn't a huge deal. Luckily, I was able to just cut around it because of the type of design it was. It was pretty seamless when I caught it. You couldn't even tell. So I just applied that and then I took my X-Acto knife like you'll see here in a minute and cut around the scratch and nobody will ever know except all of you on YouTube watching this. After I pulled everything tight on the bottom, I'm gonna go in with my cup edging tool to leave a thin line of this exposed painted stainless steel, if you will. Um, and then we're gonna go in with glitter next. I wanted to show you guys this hack that I use. So if you don't wanna test out or waste a blank tumbler, you can just put paint on a paper plate and then put your glitter over it and then it will show you exactly what the color is gonna look like under a certain color of paint. So it's way, way cheaper than wasting a blank or stripping a blank or whatever. Um, but I basically just pour the glitter on there, shake it off, and then you'll see here that they look completely different under different shades of paint. So. If you guys didn't know, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next, I mixed in about a 50-50 mix of Mod Podge and acrylic paint. And I'm just going to base paint that around all of these wavy lines. 
We'll put one coat of glitter on there, let that dry for maybe 15 minutes or so. Um, and then I went directly in with a second coat of glitter. I didn't get full coverage, which I don't typically when I'm using um, glitter glue or Mod Podge, which is why I prefer the epoxy method. Um, but that just wasn't really an option. I was trying to rush this if you guys want full disclosure here. Um, and realistically, I should have just glittered the entire cup and then put the vinyl on over top of the epoxy glitter surface. That would have probably been easier to do rather than trying to paint around all these wavy lines because I did get it on the vinyl a little bit, but hindsight is 2020. So we're just gonna work with what we did. <laughs> So I'm going back over that with that same 50-50 mixture. We're going to go in with a second coat of Barbie and then we'll let that dry overnight. And I did spray seal this with the Krylon Triple Thick Spray a couple of times. And then I did go over it with um, the Crystal Act Glitter Glue as well just to make sure everything was completely sealed in. I didn't want any cross-contamination on to the vinyl. I wanted that to be free of glitter. So that's why I took that extra step. I would definitely recommend that if you guys don't want any contamination. And then once that glitter glue was dry, I went in with a coat of Flynn Sisters Fast Setting Epoxy. And then I went in with another coat of the regular setting epoxy, let that cure overnight. And then I went in with my silver lining. Okay, so I wanted to do something a little bit different here, and because I didn't have the file for the wavy lines, I didn't have a way that I could cut out silver textured metallic vinyl in the exact wave shape that was on the pink wavy line vinyl. So I kind of just made my own wave. So what I did, I took this just white regular vinyl and I cut the strips out at 11 and a half width by 0 0.5, sorry, 11 and a half width, yeah, by 0 0.5 height. Um, and then I took it and I'm just kind of forcing it to be a wave shape. Um, and if you're struggling getting those wave shapes, you can take your heat gun. I would do it very lightly because this will bubble up very easily. Um, but you can take it and kind of heat it up and maneuver it to fit that wave line. So I'm going to put this vinyl on both sides so there's maybe like a quarter of an inch um, between the two. And we're going to do that on both sides and we're also going to do it along the bottom. I didn't want to put vinyl all the way around the bottom of the cup if that makes sense because it wouldn't really flow if there was a line of vinyl and glitter and such on um, the pink glitter portion. I feel like it would distract from the other side on the design. So I just opted to do that where the vinyl met on both sides of the wavy lines. And then I'm gonna cut that so it is completely seamless between all three sides. So we're gonna have, it's basically gonna be open on the left side, the right side and the bottom. There's not gonna be any cutoffs or anything, so I'm just gonna cut this off here. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my adhesive. This is from Artistic Painting Studios. I got this at TumblrCon and decided to use it, and it's got really great adhesion. So I decided to try it with this, and it worked out perfect. So I'm gonna lay all of this foil adhesive down, just being very careful not to get it on the outside of the vinyl lines because the um, luster dust that I'm using flies up in the air and it gets everywhere. It makes a huge mess and it will stick if you get it and it's really hard to get it off. So, would not recommend <laughs> being sloppy with this adhesive glue, foil, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so we're gonna put that down and hit it with a heat gun and we wanna do it just till it's clear. Don't heat it up too much because it will bubble up. You will see that under um, glitter or foil or whatever you're using this for. So just be very gentle with your heat gun. And then we're gonna go in with the silver luster dust from Diamonds and Dust. Lay that down 
on the adhesive and then kind of burnish it into it. So we're gonna think of like the um, tacket method. I could not think of that. I have not had enough coffee today, guys. Um, so we're gonna brush that down into the adhesive so it lays flat. And we're gonna go all the way around the cup with this. You'll see here that there are flakes flying everywhere. I don't know what this is, you guys. It's not glitter and it's not like foil. I don't, I have no idea what it is. It's kind of gritty, but it's metallic-y. I don't know. It's beautiful either way. Once I get that all rubbed in, I'm gonna take a chip brush and rub all of this excess off. You wanna be really cautious to get everything off because it is super sticky. A chip brush, in my opinion, works best because you can kind of scrape it off, if you will. I'm doing hand motions while I'm doing this voiceover, if you wanted to know. Um, so next, we're gonna go in almost immediately with a little bit of polycrylic and a paintbrush. And I'm gonna be sure to also keep this between the vinyl lines. I'm gonna put this on before I remove vinyl, um, just so I have kind of a buffer between the um, foil and the vinyl and glitter so we don't cross contaminate. And we're gonna let that dry for maybe 15, 20 minutes or so. Um, and then I'll go in with a coat of epoxy before I'm going in with my next steps just to be sure that all of that um, metallic, that dust is covered in epoxy. There's no chance of getting it anywhere else on the design. So I'm going to pull this final up immediately. You don't want to let this sit because if it dries and you pull it up, same concept if you're like pulling your tape on the bottom of your tumblers, if you let it dry, it's gonna pull the epoxy up. Same thing applies here. If you let it dry, it's gonna pull the adhesive up, adhesive up with it. You guys, I'm really struggling with my words today. I don't know what is going on. Send help, please. So I put one coat of the regular setting Flynn Sisters epoxy on that, let that cure overnight. And then I cut this very relatable three inch quote out for this tumbler. And I did a double offset. So my original SVG is black holographic. The second layer below that is just a light pink from Tech Wrap Craft. And then the secondary offset is just a white, so it pops off of that pink background. I did each offset at 0.5 inches. I did forget to mention that I did a glitter booty on this, so I popped off that little piece on the bottom of the tumbler, and I put in about 15 mLs of UV resin into a cup and mixed about 5 mLs of Hello Friend. And then I cured that three times under my UV light at 99 seconds each. And then I was able to coat that in epoxy and proceed like normal. 
Next, I cut out these little stars at 0 0.20 and 0 0.30. They came in a little cluster. Um, you can find them all over Etsy or Google or Creative Fabrica. There are tons of them everywhere. Um, but I just needed a little bit something to fill that space. And the stars worked perfect. So I'm gonna put those on there. I have three different sizes in the clusters. I didn't really want it to take over the design, but I just wanted something because there's so much real estate on these 32 ounce plumps that it needed a little bit of something to fill up the rest of that pink glitter. So this worked perfect. I cut it out in that black holographic um, vinyl from Tech Wrap that I used on that top layer of my SVG. Um, and then I'm going to put a coat of epoxy over this after I sand down the rim of this cup. This is going to be the final coat of epoxy. I am going to put rhinestones over um, these little stars like I saw Jessica Flynn do in her video a couple of weeks ago. Um, you do not want to epoxy over the rhinestones. They will completely lose their shine. And you want to be very, very, very minimal with the amount of glue that you're dabbing on this um, star here because it will squeeze out and if there's too much and you set it upright, the rhinestones while they're drying are going to slide down the tumbler and then you're going to have a streak of glue showing and there will be no epoxy to cover over it. So just my little ramble there. Um, I'll get off my soapbox now. <laughs> Um, they're just things that I've learned, you guys. I learn from experience. I like to tell you guys so you don't have to deal with the things that I do and deal with myself. So that's what I'm here for. Anyways, this is the last part of the design. And I'm really going to be on my husband's last nerve if I keep this cup. So I haven't decided if it's going in my cupboard yet or not. If not, you guys are welcome to buy it. I will list it on Facebook if I don't decide to keep it, but here's the final design. I forgot to mention I used a uh, crystal rhinestone from Flynn Sister Supply Shop. I have a discount for you guys there as well um, for rhinestones pearls, which are on sale right now. If you're watching this at the time this tutorial drops, um, you can stack my coupon code. And that's all I've got for you guys. So thanks for sticking with me and my rambling today. And I'll see you guys next weekend.